Hey guys, my name's Hazy. I'm Gavin. And welcome to the first episode of TP Sports Nation. This episode will be focusing on the football team this past week. So, Hazy, talk to me. What do we have going on for this weekend? We got some great interviews coming up, Gavin. We'll hand it over to Big Boy Pete over there for the interviews. Talk to me nice, Pete. Thanks, guys. We had the opportunity to sit down with Coach Davenport and talk about some football. You know, I'll be honest with you. I don't know that being a head coach is anything I've ever aspired to. Um, but getting asked if I'd be interested, I, I certainly was. And uh, I don't know. It's an interesting transition. I mean, it's the kind of thing where when you do something like this and you've never done it before, you really don't know what to expect. Um, I'd say it's been the best of experiences and the worst of experiences all rolled in together because you just don't know what you're getting yourself into. And, you know, when you become the head guy, you do less football and you do more of the other stuff that the other coaches get to do on a regular basis. Um, so uh, it's something you, gr you grow into like anything else. And so it'll kind of take that course. And um, I don't know. We'll see where it takes us. No, I mean, defensively, I always ran the defense since I've been here. So that's been kind of where, where it's, that's been a seamless transition. Um, kind of like my previous question, you just don't get to spend as much time with X's and O's when you're doing the other stuff. So that's that gets a little that gets to be a little bit of a, a concern. Offensively, we're different than we were. You know, Olaf took his offense kind of with him, and we probably have vestiges of that offense. But there's two. I mean, everyone on the offensive side of the ball is in a new role or in some new capacity, even though they've been here for a little bit, and we added a new coach. So um, our offense has changed, and once again, like. Everything's always constantly evolving, whether it's defense or offense. It, it changes from week to week. It changes from season to season. Um, but that's, that's the game of football. And on the offensive side of the ball, we've got a couple guys and Mike Weber and, and, uh, and, and Cyrus that are doing something that they haven't done in the past year, uh, calling, calling an offensive game plan. And then we picked up uh, Ian, Ian uh, Suter, who's been a great addition to us from the offensive line. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you know, we've got uh, Mr. Doyle back. And, and, uh, but then we picked up new guys there, too. You know, uh, Ralph Fidelli's decided to come out and coach football here again, and he's been awesome. He's been an awesome addition to the staff, and he's done it in the past. And then David Hooks, who's new here, too, as a teacher and, and a coach, has been probably the greatest addition to anybody because our JV guys have a dedicated coach now that helps them uh, on a daily basis, and that's not, not something we did my first three years here when I got here and uh, I think it's breathed a lot of life into those young guys and, and given them a, a way better experience so and that's been an awesome addition to the staff. As far as goals for the season we started preseason camp and, and all the guys they sat down and, and uh, I asked the guys on the team what are our goals for the season and and we laid them out you know and they're as crazy as four shutouts or you know 300 rushing yards a game and stuff like that and Ultimately, I couldn't care less about what our goals are. Um, more importantly, the, the next question was, okay, once we had kind of set our parameters for what our goals were, is how are we going to attain them? And that's really what you need to focus on, if, I think, in any team sport. So, you know, our rules and regulations and the way we're going to carry ourselves were far more important to us than, than what our actual our goals are. So. You know, we, and once again, this is player driven. This is not the coaches. So, you know, what they're saying is, you know, we're going to be disciplined. We're going to be accountable. We're going to go to class every day. We're going to be on time. We're going to shave if that's one of the rules. And, you know, we laid out a lot of stuff like, you know, and not being selfish and, and doing all this stuff. And then the, the guys actually put their name on it. And, uh, and I think that's important. And they were all told, if, if you're not willing to do this stuff, don't put your name on this contract because this is what we're going to hold you to as a coaching staff. Um, and so, you know, some guys will put their name on that thing and not think anything of it, and they'll be asked to be held to, the, to those goals. And I think it all drives us towards the, my vision is that we're the greatest practice team in America on a daily basis. Um, and that's what we want to be. And then the other stuff takes care of itself. But that's, that's where we want to be headed all the time. Thanks, Coach Davenport. Wasn't that great, Gavin? Unreal. Now we're passing it on to Jake Lakes. Hey, guys. Varsity football is currently 2-1, and one, and we sat down with Mason Clark, a.k.a. Captain Big Drip, to talk about the latest. Before the first uh, loss, when we took our first two wins, we were feeling real confident in our team. Um, I think in total, we let up like only 40 points in total. 
scored like 70 something. So we was on a roll. We came in the taps hot. We uh, we definitely felt like we was gonna win. And then came game time. We started off really slow. And so I started off slow, gave them the lead in the first quarter. I mean, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna say we did bad, but we did bad. Like we was moving the ball, but we just couldn't stick it in the touchdown. The thing we gotta do to bounce back and uh, win now is just get focused, gain our confidence back, gain another win under our belt, and just ride from there. Uh, the vibe on the team, uh, we got a good group of guys. Uh, there's definitely a lot of characters on the team, especially with the new PGs, the new kids. Um, we all get along good. A lot of us are in Cluet, in Cluet 2, Cluet 3. So just through the nights, uh, we all kind of just get together, have fun. Um, there's nothing bad about this team. I can't complain. I've been here for, this is my third year here, and I would definitely say this is by far the best team that I've uh, interacted with. And um, being like one of the captains on the team, just including everybody to make sure that no one's left out and that we're a family, we're a brotherhood. Coming into the season, like Coach Davenport said, we laid out goals. Uh, to obtain our goals that we set, um, we made like consequences to like skipping chapel, being late, um, holding ourselves accountable. Um, that's one major thing to make our goals even possible. We all got to be held accountable. So what Coach had us do was we laid out goals, and then we laid out some laws that followed the goals. And at the end of it, we looked it over. And what he had us do was all sign it. And after we signed it, it was kind of like we're buried into it. Mm -hmm. So, like, TP got rules. And now after signing that paper, we got more rules on top of that to be held accountable for. And I, and I think that would definitely um, keep the team together and push our goals to be accomplished. Big thanks to Captain Big Drip for the interview. That's a wrap for the uh, first episode. My name's Michael Hayes. Gavin Bloder. Stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he sucks at hockey. Ah!